Hello everyone, and welcome back on in to another Feral Druid video. Today I wanted to talk to you about how Feral is feeling and performing, doing in The War Within, in uh, generally in Mythic Plus. This is going to be a Mythic Plus focused video. Uh, and then also some of the tips and tricks that I've been figuring out having played Feral now for a couple weeks in the new expansion. And hopefully just some helpful tips for newer Ferals, more experienced Ferals. Um, to maximize damage and what kind of things you should be looking to do when you're going into combat and doing keys. So, uh, first, of, first of all, I'm getting a lot of questions from people about how Feral is performing. So I just want to answer that very briefly and say I think Feral is, you know, or how Feral is feeling and how it's performing. I think it feels pretty good. There are some scenarios when you're playing DOTC where it's kind of awkward where do I refresh my Primal Wrath rips? Do I Ravage? I don't know which one to do. I don't want to waste a Ravage proc, etc. That's something that can occur. Uh, also, with Wildstalker, it can be awkward sometimes with trying to find your Vine target. So I think both hero talents uh, have their sort of... Um, their discomfort moments. But I've been playing pretty much exclusively Wildstalker. And generally, I am quite enjoying it. Uh, I think it's... It's definitely a lot slower than it was in Dragonflight. So if you picked up Feral in Dragonflight and you're expecting Feral to be that fast-paced, always pressing something spec, it's not that right now. That's not to say it won't be that later in the expansion, but right now it's a lot slower. It's a lot more pooling. So a lot of people saying, Sai, uh, is it normal to run out of energy and not be able to press anything? Yes, that is very normal with Feral and actually optimizing those downtimes is how you min max feral is understanding when to begin your rotation and when to actually just take your hand off the keyboard for a few seconds so that's normal feel of feral i think it feels pretty good for the fact that it's the first season of the expansion in terms of how it's performing i don't think we're meta i don't think we're going to compete with like the top 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 tier meta specs but i think that we're not completely a mile away you know we're not we're not massively off where you go into a key with a meta spec and you're gonna get completely annihilated and feel like man i'm doing healer damage why am i even playing this game the damage right now for feral i think is pretty decent it's not the best spec but it's definitely not the worst so uh, i'm finding even if you're doing anything from like a plus two to a plus ten you are totally fine on feral do not feel like your damage is the thing that's limiting the key if you do fail it uh, you could definitely perform well on it. I know for me, I've definitely been blasting on Feral in, in 9s, 10s, 11s. No sweat. Even going up against meta specs, I'm not bothered. Our single target is good. Our AoE is good. I'm happy with that. Used to be that Feral was like, single target would be good, or our AoE would be good, but not both. Now they're both performing pretty well, and we got some nice useful utility. Especially with a lot of these affixes at the moment. Uh, a lot of dungeons as well, needing curse, poison dispels, so Feral's quite good in that regard. And yeah, there's some fun shenanigans you can do with Cyclones and stuff like that. So in terms of feel and performance, I think we're doing well right now. Not as good as Boomy, who is apparently really, 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 really bad and needs looking at Blizzard, please, what the hell. Also, they're being played in the highest keys right now, but that's fine. So, moving on then. So in terms of, yeah, that's that's feeling and performance. In terms of some useful tips for people getting into Feral. So this is, these are some tips I was giving to people on stream yesterday where try to think about Feral Druid when you're playing it in, in threes. Try and think of every step you're doing in like triplets, right? Feral, at least for me, I think of it as a, as a, as a three-step spec. And what I mean by this is, you're playing Blood Talents, which is three generator. When you use three different generators within a four second window, you're going to get stacks which empower your next rips, bites, or primal wraths, right? So, this is a really important ability, and it's how you should be play it's what you should be playing around with Pharaoh. You should be playing around your Blood Talents, right? So, what you'll also note with Blood Talents. Or, well, with these, these sets of three, is that if you do three generators and you have a decent amount of crit, especially considering our new tier set, and you have a decent amount of crit, if you crit on your first generator, that's two combo points. If you crit on your second, that's four combo points. And then you need one final generator to get your fifth combo point. So that's three buttons, right? So three buttons for your blood talents, three buttons for your five combo points. You're thinking in threes. So if you can try and get in the mindset of thinking about the ability you just pressed, 
the ability that you're pressing now, and then what you're going to look to press next. And that's what I'm always trying to track in keys. That is taking up part of my brain there where I'm always thinking about the actions that I'm going through in that flow. Now, of course, when you have three stacks of blood talents, you can kind of take your foot off the gas a little bit. You can do this, you know, you can spread some rakes if you want to. You can press rake three times in a row. But try and just generally get in that set of threes, right? Generating your blood talons, building five combo points. And that's a good uh, mindset to get in. In terms of pooling, as long as you're not at 100 energy, you're not actually missing damage. So don't rush to get damage out per se. Obviously, if you're in your Berserk window, if you've got uh, uh, Tiger Fury and Convoke available, obviously you want to be dishing out a lot of globals and, and doing your damage. But like right now, you can see on screen, I'm at super low energy. I'm at like 10 energy. I'm just kind of vibing. I'm not, I'm not like... Like, I could wait for a few seconds there, and as long as I'm not capped on energy, I'm not really losing damage because I'm I'm going to be limited by energy, not by my globals. So it's something to just keep in mind. You don't need to rush, especially when you need to do three generators in four seconds. You don't want to just rush it because what you'll end up doing is you'll be at, like, 30 energy. You'll press, like, a Brutal Slash, right? And then... You've got four seconds to try and get two more generators. You've got to do like a shred and a thrash or something. That's 80 energy. If you don't have Tiger Fury available, you might not actually hit that window to, if you don't, you know, have an MOC proc or something like that, you might not actually get the energy to get your blood talons. And then you'll end up in a situation where you're at like four combo points because you've used two generators, but you didn't, or you've used three generators, but you didn't quite get the blood talons because you were too slow because you didn't pool enough. And then you're at like four combo points. You don't have blood talons and there's no way for you to get blood talons. And you end up have to do this awkward situation where you have to do another generator and then pool a bit more and then bite. And it's a non-empowered bite. And then you have to pool again because you got to get your blood talons and you've just messed up the previous one. And it just offsets you by quite a bit. So try and actually get in the habit of relaxing in low energy situations and giving yourself a moment to then generate your blood talons instead of just thinking go 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 it's not enhancement shaman you're not you're not you know locked by globals where you're just trying to press things as quickly as possible so you can slow it down a little bit um so those are some general like good tips i just think are good for for all ferals to kind of be considering when you're when you're playing mythic plus is have patience and think in threes. Those are like my big pointers. Uh, in terms of, so actually playing some of the spec then, and I'll actually pause some of this gameplay now. In terms of actually playing the spec then, so I've been finding for me right now, since I got my four set, and I'll actually read off the set for people that don't know what the tier set does. So our two set is Tiger Fury, increases your chance to critically strike for 10 seconds, starting at 6%, increasing by 1% every two seconds. Our four set is then critical strikes with your combo point generating abilities, increase the direct damage of your next Ferocious Bite and Rampant Frosty or Primal Wrath by 15%, stacking up to three times. So basically, the more crit we get, the more our generators will crit, which gives us more damage on our finishers, and that will stack. And again, stacks up to three times. Uh, so thinking in threes, right? Now, a way to try and uh, activate this uh, more effectively in AoE is you got to think if you're going to like... Because I get some people saying about when should I shred in AoE. Ideally, no. Because with shred, I mean, you get periods uh, based on your talent setup where you will get increased crit on your shred. Which is great. But generally, well, shred only hits one target. So the chance of it critting is going to be lower than, say, a Brutal Slash or a Thrash or even a double clawed rake it's going to be hitting more targets and the chance of it to crit on any one of them is going to be enhanced uh which means you're more likely to get a crit strike and get this benefit so try and consider that but i wouldn't stress about it too much this is something that's kind of just kind of be playing in the background um so you'll note as well this won't affect your rip so you don't have to worry about snapshotting your rip with this tier set because it's only ferocious bite rampant frosty or Primal Wrath. So I believe that would be Primal Wrath instant damage. 
But with this tier set, because we're getting the crit strike, we want to be trying to get our cooldowns within our two set window as quickly as possible. So, so, uh, so I've actually made a couple changes to my talent points. So I was playing a lot of Lunar Inspiration, and I am still playing it in certain dungeons like Siege of Boralis or Mist of Ton of Scythe, where it's like low mob density and I feel like I can get good Lunar Saturation. Uh, but I have started to favor a lot of Taste for Blood, and this is something I already spoke about when I made my build previously, where I do want to play Taste for Blood, especially in large AoE, but um, I was just playing Luna because I quite enjoyed it. But now I'm in some higher keys where damage actually matters. I want to optimize a little bit more, so I'm playing Taste for Blood. I'm also switching to Implant, which is something I considered. I actually read a YouTube comment from somebody, and, and, and they gave me that... You know, they mentioned about implant, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I actually like the idea of this now that we've, we're playing around this tier set a bit. Uh, implant is going to help you guarantee where your first vine will go in combat. So if you're intelligent with it, you can guarantee that you're going to get a lot of bursting growth damage. And I think I've like doubled my bursting growth damage since playing this talent because I've been using it during my cooldown window, during my convoke, and when I'm getting a lot of bites with this uh with this ability so i quite like running implant now and then i think everything else i've just kept the same but generally when i'm going into aoe because of this tier set we don't just want to press our uh tiger fury immediately when we go into combat because if you do that you're wasting that 10 seconds of crit and you might find if you go into combat and you have zero combo points you're going to have to use three generators at least and right now in the first season where we're very low on well low ish on crit my crit's actually looking pretty decent right now, now that my gear's getting getting there. But, um, we're lowish crit compared to some builds we've had historically, where we've even had like 100% crit, or, you know, getting up to the 50 plus percent crit mark and stuff. So, you're going to have to do at least three generators to get those five combo points. Then you're going to have to use a finisher. Then you're going to have to get into your, like, Berserk Convoke window. So you may be losing like four or five seconds before you're getting into your cooldowns which is just you're losing a lot of that crit value right so the idea being what i like to do in aoe uh is i like to start with if the tank's gathering everything up i actually like to start with a shred so i don't stun mobs and then the tank has to like wait for these mobs to get pulled in especially if they're casters so sometimes i'll be shredding if the if the tank's still grouping things up but generally uh you want to like rake thrash brutal slash up then I can Tiger Fury Berserk Primal, Shred, Bite, now I'll Convoke. And I'm going to ensure that I've got that Vine on that target the whole time. So now I can get a lot more Bites during uh, on that Vine target. So the, the way it works with Implant is when you gain or lose Tiger Fury, your next single target melee ability causes a Bloodseeker Vine to grow on the target. So I like to, uh, yeah, generate five combo points. What, what, I, what I even do, actually, is generate five combo points, use a non-snapshotted Primal Wrath. Then I will Tiger Fury, Berserk, Shred, uh, Convoke. So more or less, it's, 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 it's roughly that. So... I'm basically just getting my Tiger Fury right before I'm going to use my cooldowns, as close as I can. And then because I'm shredding, I'm guaranteeing uh, that my Vine is going to be on that particular target. If you get lucky with an Apex proc because of that first Primal Wrath, then you can actually bite instead. One thing to be careful of is if you double clawed Rake, the Vine has a chance to go on your main target or the secondary target. So be careful, careful with that. If you pull 10 mobs and then you double clawed Rake, you'll lose your Vine. But uh, I quite like that. So uh, once again, I guess I'll just show you again. So I would like Rake, Thrash, Brutal Slash, Primal Wrath. Then I would look to Tiger Fury, Berserk, Shred, then Convoke. Um, I might even squeeze in a Bite first, then Convoke. But that's generally what I'm trying to do. And it's working quite well. I'm finding my damage is, is quite good with that. And it's helped me remove a lot of the noise in combat looking for vines and then go oh, i want to send my cooldowns but where's a vine and then during my convoke window all i'm doing during that convoke window is watching the timer on the current vine on my current target 
and then looking at mobs around and seeing if there's a fresher vine. And as soon as a fresh vine pops up, I'm clicking on that target and I'm and I'm zeroing in on that target. Uh, and then a nice little trick is when you come out of your convoke window, try and hit with a brutal slash. I do it even if I'm at max combo points. The the reason being your convoke is is gonna maybe do a thrash, maybe do rake, maybe do shred, but it might not do all three of them. But it definitely won't brutal slash because it's not coded into convoke. So if you brutal slash, there's a good chance that you've done two out of three generators in your um, convoke. You can brutal slash, guarantee the uh, blood talents, and then you can instantly primal wrath, and you've got a snapped primal wrath, and you've got your blood talons. Now you can continue your rotation. Because uh, you normally find when you come out of your convoke window, you're super, uh, you have so many combo points because of your berserk and everything, and you're trying to generate your blood talons. It's quite awkward, and it takes a while, and then your rip's fallen off. I just like to use the Brutal Slash, guarantee the Blood Talons, and I can Tiger Fury, Primal Wrath, uh, just before Primal um, Tiger Fury drops off. Now, what, one last thing I want to talk about is like Tiger's Tenacity and Raging uh, Fury. So, if you're struggling with Feral right now to get your snapped bleeds during your Tiger Fury window, I would definitely encourage you to maybe pick up Raging Fury. Because you can basically guarantee that you're going to get every single Rip and Rake snapshotted because you get those extra five seconds. So you have like, you know, two thirds of the time you're going to have Tiger Fury active. So you can pretty much guarantee you're always gonna have nice snapped bleeds. When you play Tiger's Tenacity, you have to do some finicky stuff where you have to either let your bleeds drop off for a few seconds whilst you're waiting for your next Tiger Fury. It's about five seconds, five, six seconds, or you have to reapply your bleeds prematurely. So, but you get the benefit of your bleeds doing more damage. So it's a bit of a finicky window uh, to play around. And it's definitely something that takes time to like master and suss out. So I would encourage maybe checking out Raging Fury if you're struggling. But uh, Tiger's Nasty when you're feeling more comfortable. But that's kind of what I've been finding. Those are maybe like mo a lot of my my tips right now uh, with, with Feral. I think what I might do is even just show you this first pull really quick in this necrotic wake, just to give you a, a sense of what I'm trying to do with this pull. So Tank's going to group everything up, and I'm going to just kind of wait. I don't want to pull aggro and die. Number one thing I don't want to do here, let Tank set up. So I'm starting with a rake into a thrash into a brutal slash. I'm at five combo points. I have my blood talons. Now I can uh, Tiger Fury, Berserk, Primal Wrath, and then I look to shred this individual target here. I bite it, and then I should send the Convoke. Okay, I did a double bite, because I think I got an Apex. So I did a double bite there, still got a Vine on this target, so I had full, I had full uh, Vine during that Convoke, and then I can bite one last time. Uh, Coming out of the Convoke, I bite into a Brutal Slash. I get my Blood Talons. That's what I was telling you about. My Tiger Fury is three seconds left, and I can Reprimal Wrath. That way I've got a nice snapped bleed, and my Tiger Fury is coming back up in like 18 seconds. So now I have a new target that I'm looking to get a Vine Bite on. I'm looking to send my Bites on this target. And then Brutal Slashing and Biting and all that kind of stuff. And then the pack's dead. So, one more time at full speed. So, let's talk through it. So, I'm going to Rake, Thrash, Brutal Slash to get five combo points. And then I'm going to Tiger Fury, Berserk, Primal Wrath. I get an Apex Bite. Send a couple Bites. Send the Convoke now. Now, I see a new target. So, I actually find this Soldier. I, I, I'm on the Harvester, I believe. And then I see this Soldier pop up with a fresher vine. So I jump onto that and then I send the bites there. And then I find this harvester has got the vine available. I've actually found playing with this for a couple weeks, I'm starting to get a lot better at just canceling out a lot of the noise and, and isolating these vine targets a lot quicker and a lot more easily. So that's good. Um, one last thing that I wanted to talk about there. Uh, one last thing that I wanted to talk about. So... Oh, can't remember. If it comes back to me, I will tell you. And I'm not even going to edit this out. That's fine. So, yeah, that's generally how I'm trying to 
to play Feral right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the playstyle. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm doing damage. I'm smashing keys. So, yeah, really quite fun to be on Feral right now. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking it out, giving it some playtime if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, I guess we'll leave it there. This has been quite a long one, so I guess we'll leave it there for today. Hopefully this has been helpful. Remember, come check out the stream. I'm live, like, every every day, uh, Monday to Friday. And doing a lot of Feral content and some Balance Druid. Feral, Balance, and Windwalker is what I'm currently playing a lot of. I'm also playing some Final Fantasy on stream, so if you do catch me on a Final Fantasy day, don't worry. It'll just be WoW on a different day, so no stress, no sweat. Um, come hang out, come chill. And yeah, hopefully it's been a nice video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit me in the comment section if you have any questions. Alrighty, take care.